for many people, cryptocurrencies are the money of the future. They think that transactions are more transparent, safer and there's no transaction fees from banks. Unfortunately, the technology behind crypto is often extremely harmful to the environment. There's hope though. Ethereum, the world's second largest cryptocurrency, is changing the way transactions are approved. The new procedure, proof of stake, is good news for everyone. Here's why. Most cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, waste energy by design. They use a bookkeeping system called Proof of Work, which works reliably, but... Crypto mining uh, uses an enormous amount of energy. Some say as much energy as entire nations, like Argentina. Cryptocurrencies using as much energy as an entire nation? How? Proof of Work was originally invented to prevent annoying online practices like junk mails. In order to prove itself trustworthy, a computer sends out a small mathematical equation needing to be solved. When it comes to crypto such as Bitcoin, Proof of Work is used to validate and generate new blocks of data. Blocks can represent a transaction or the creation of a new coin. This information is stored in a blockchain. All transactions are also saved here. This is done by computers all over the world which form a decentralized network. A computer that manages to solve an equation is rewarded with a small amount of Bitcoin. The process is called mining and it uses a lot of energy. The more computer power miners have, the more equations they will be able to solve, meaning more crypto in their pocket. Nowadays, proof-of-work mining has become such a profitable industry that big computing farms are built in order to mine as many coins as possible, however, with serious implications for the environment. Electricity is the raw material for Bitcoin mining. This is basically a bunch of rich people getting richer. The region around the Finger Lakes in New York State has become a hotspot for Bitcoin farming. Joseph Campbell has documented severe damages to the ecosystem in the area as a result. They've got this pipe that goes out into the, the lake, uh, close to 200 meters, right? They're allowed to withdraw 139 million gallons of water every, each and every day. Uh, so they suck it out of the lake. Uh, they don't have fish protection screens in place and it acts as a giant blender, you know, it just chews them up and spits them out. The mining farms have also caused high water temperature by pumping warm water back into the lakes. This has led to harmful algal blooms. So it's not just CO2 emissions through energy consumption. Bitcoin farms also affect their direct surroundings in dramatic and potentially harmful ways. That's why Ethereum's move from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake is good news. The latter is supposed to be 99.9% .9 more energy efficient. Here's how it works. For the validation process, no mathematical puzzle needs to be solved. That means far less electricity is needed to identify people taking part in the validation process. With proof-of-stake cryptos, the creation of new blocks is called forging instead of mining. Those who want to forge have to own some of the cryptocurrency. To participate, they need to pledge some of their coins. The state coins can't be traded during forging. These are locked away. With forging, computer power is not the decisive factor when it comes to choosing who gets to add the next block to the blockchain. Instead, it's a combination of how much currency you have staked and how long ago you staked it. There's also a randomization factor to it. As a reward for successfully forging a block, you earn a small amount of Ethereum. Proof of Stake has been around since 2012 and is already used by cryptocurrencies like Solana, Terra and Cardano. Nevertheless, changing a running financial system is like heart surgery, it comes with a number of risks. But it could all pay out. In 2021, approximately 113 terawatt hours were used to keep Ethereum running, as much power as the Netherlands used during the same time. Reducing this amount to a fraction makes sense economically and ecologically. And there's another big plus, transactions are much faster. This could lead to a higher adoption of Ethereum.